So if something's going on on your SQL Server right now and you're not exactly sure what and you need to find out why things are slow. One way to do it is to run spwho or spwho2, but frankly these aren't very good. If I scroll down through these, it does tell me that there's stuff happening on the server and that there's people doing a select or an execute or an update statement, but it doesn't really tell me what they're doing or give me the execution plan or tell me what they're waiting on. Well, that's where this really cool free utility called SP Who is Active comes in. Now, it's like SP Who or SP Who 2. If you run it just by itself, it runs pretty quickly, and it shows me a whole lot more columns. Let's go across these from left to right. First off, it's only showing me the queries that are actually active right now. These queries have been running for over four minutes tells me what session IDs they are, and if I click on the actual query, I get the full query text formatted exactly like the query that got passed in. It's not all on one big ugly line like some other utilities. You actually get the line breaks here. Now, as I go across, it also shows me the login name of whoever is doing it. It'll show me how many CPU cycles that query has used, how much space in tempdb it's allocated. So if you're trying to figure out who's using all the tempdb, that's helpful. And how many logical reads it's done, and much more like what database they're in, what program they're running, what time they started, what time they logged in, and much more. You can even get more stuff if you pass in more parameters. I'm going to show you two of the most popular parameters that I see used out in the field. Get plans equals one and get additional info equals one. When I run those, I notice it doesn't really take much more time on my particular lab machine, but if you're on a really big, you know, 80 core or bigger monster that's running 100% CPU, these may take additional time. Now I get the same stuff here, but if I scroll across, I get a new column here, Query Plan. If I click on Query Plan, I get to see the actual execution plan, well, the estimated execution plan for this query that's going to run. I don't actually see how many reads or writes it's done yet, but I can identify, oh, here's the thing that's a problem. It's got a table scan in it, and I'm probably going to have to do some index tuning in order to make that thing run faster. I get to see that live in real time while the queries are still running. I can see things like open transaction count, how many transactions this query has open. Now notice I also passed in get additional info. It also adds this additional info column here. If I click on that, it shows me more stuff like that particular isolation level that someone's using. If I told everyone to do read uncommitted so that they get the with no lock dirty reads, I can see in here if some people aren't doing that or if somebody's changed their deadlock priority, all kinds of other fun stuff. All of that is totally free. You can get that from brentozar.com slash go slash active where I've got links to Adam Mechanics SP who is active. It's totally free. And that's one of my favorite free tools for SQL Server, but I know a whole lot more. My name is Brent Ozar. I've been working with SQL Server for more than 10 years now, and I've accumulated all these little tips and tricks that I'd love to share with you. I put together a big, long series of videos that list my favorite free ebooks, free utilities, and once you've found those slow queries, my favorite free tools for helping them go faster. You can get all of that too at brentozar.com slash go slash free stuff. Enjoy and hope that helps make your SQL Server life a little bit easier.